So I recently uploaded a video in which I talked about uh, tiling window managers, and in it we installed uh, two different tiling window managers, BSPWM and i3, which are really popular and really powerful tiling window managers. Well, more recently, I've started using a different tiling window manager called DWM. So in this video, I thought I'd walk you through how to install it, uh, how to do some basic configuration, and just the basic usage of DWM. That's coming right up. So if you're new to this channel, my name's Wesley. I make videos about Linux-related tools and topics. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing to this channel. So DWM is a, uh, it stands for Dynamic Window Manager. And what it is, is uh, it's a tiling window manager like many of the other tiling window managers. Uh, it's developed by the Suckless group, and I've talked before about Suckless applications. DWM is written in C and it's very minimalistic and very fast and very powerful. So let's just get ri right into kind of the basic usage of DWM. So what you see here is a vanilla installation of DWM. And by vanilla, I mean I haven't really done too much configuration. With DWM. When you build it and install it, this is basically what you get. The one thing that I have running that you might not see by default is up in this top right corner you see this status information. That is actually being generated by a different tool called DWM status, uh, which you actually have to download and install separately. Uh, but for the most part this is all just raw DWM. So DWM organizes windows by tags. And on the top left corner here, you can see there are nine possible tags by default that you can assign a window to. Uh, when there's a little box in the corner, that means that you've got a window in that tag. So if I go to tag nine, this is my screen recording software, and uh, that's why there's a little square there. Obviously, the blue highlighting means <clears throat> indicates that you're looking at all the windows with that tag. And this little icon here indicates what, what layout mode that you are currently using, which by default you start out in tiling mode. And we'll talk about the different modes in just a minute. I'll start off by opening an application so we can kind of start looking at some windows. Now, uh, one thing that DWM also doesn't have by default, uh, it doesn't have a uh, application launcher, which a lot of tiling window managers don't. By default, it's going to look uh, or attempt to open D menu. So if you want to try out DWM, I'd recommend installing dmenu uh, before you try running DWM. So to open your application launcher dmenu, you press Alt-P, and that changes the bar up at the top to basically a list of executables within your path. And uh, you can type in text to search for uh, an executable that you'd like to start. So take Arander, for example. So you start typing it and it'll filter the lists of results and you hit enter to open the application. And uh, up here, this bar here shows the description of the application that you or currently have active. Uh, let, me, let me just open another application, LX Appearance. Okay, so by default, when you open applications in tiling uh, mode, it will create a master area over here on the left and then a stacking area over here on the right. And uh, if you want to move an active window over to the master area, you make sure that you have are in that window and press Alt-Enter and that'll move it over to the master area. Um, let me open another application, ST. Whenever you open a new application, it'll put it in the master area by default. So say I want to move uh, this one over to the master area, I hit uh, Alt Enter. Now you can uh, cycle through your active application or your active window by pressing uh, Alt J to cycle downwards, and you can press Alt K to cycle upwards through your ap uh, active applications. So I can cycle down and move it over to the master. You can also move more windows from the stacking area over to the master area by pressing Alt I. And then, likewise, you can move them from the master area back over to the stacking area with Alt-D. So that's how tiling mode works. Now, you can also switch over to uh, monocle mode, which is, uh, to do that, you press Alt-M, and that kind of takes your window and maximizes it to about full screen. 
and uh, you can still cycle up and down through your active windows pressing Alt J and K. Um, and when you're in monocle mode, up here in uh, this icon will show these two brackets and the number of windows that you have open in monocle mode. Let's go back to tiling mode. You, you switch to tiling mode by pressing Alt T. Now you can also switch to floating mode, which to do that you press Alt F. And uh, by default, uh, it's not going to change the positioning or anything of any of your active windows. Um, but you can move them out of, uh, you know, this tiled layout by pressing Alt and the left mouse button, and you can drag them. You have to hold down Alt and the left mouse button to drag them and move them around. And you can resize them by pressing Alt and holding down, uh, or holding down Alt and pressing the left, I'm sorry, the right mouse button. And uh, you can resize it that way. So to move your active window back to your tiling layout, you press Alt. Well, first you have to move from floating mode over to tiling mode. And then uh, you highlight your active, the window you want to move back into tiling mode and press Alt Shift Space. And then I'll move that back into your tiling layout. So that's the basics of how the tiling layout works with DWM. Now I'm going to talk about how to get it, uh, how to install it, and how to do some basic configuration. So I'll close these windows out. <clears throat> to close a window, you press Alt-Shift-C, and that closes windows. Uh, oh, also something I forgot to mention is if you want to open the default terminal emulator, which is ST by default, uh, you press Alt-Shift-Enter, and that'll open a new instance of your terminal emulator. Okay, there are a few ways to get DWM. Uh, first, your distribution, your Linux distribution's package management system might have a binary package. I would not recommend doing that. Well, you can if you want, but uh, if you get a binary package of it, you won't be able to do any customization. So to actually customize, like all Suckless apps, you have to Recom you have to modify the source files and recompile it. So I'd recommend just getting the source code and compiling it yourself. So you get the source code at suckless.org and go over here to DWM and uh, down here you can just use, if you have git installed which I do, I, you can just run a git clone on this URL to clone the source code to your computer you can probably also download it as a zip, but uh, I'd recommend just using git to download it. I already have downloaded the source code into this directory. Tools. So this is what the source code looks like. Okay, so by default when you uh, uh, download all the source code, uh, it puts this config.def.h, uh, which is the base from which you're going to make all your configurations. What you'll actually do is copy that into a config.h, which is what the compilation process will actually use, uh, and modify it to add whatever configurations you want. So I'll show you the configuration changes I made. Config.h. Um, I've pretty much got all the defaults in here, with the exception that I added a few key bindings. Uh, I think we talked about uh, in the other video about tiling window managers that um, with BSPWM it actually requires an external program to do key bindings. Well, with DWM it is baked into the window manager, but if you want to change any of the key bindings you have to edit this config.h file. So on my laptop I have uh, volume up and down keys, and uh, in order to uh, make those work in my tiling window manager, I have to uh, define a, uh, a executable to, uh, or define a, uh, a command to run in order to turn the volume up, down, or to mute it. And then down in this keys section, I am specifying the, uh, basically the, the, the variable that represents the value of this key, and uh, I'm spawning this volume up command, which I've defined here, and the volume down command, and the volume mute command. You can likewise do this with the brightness commands, or with your brightness keys on your laptop, if uh, if you have those. I haven't done that yet, um, 
but this is where you would add any new key bindings or change the current key bindings. So yeah, that's the only configuration that I've made um, with <clears throat> my install of DWM. I'll probably, I'm planning to add a key bindings for my brightness up and down. So once you've made configuration changes, you've got it the way you want it. Uh, save and close your config.h and just run make, well, just run make to see if it will compile. And then once you're ready, you can run sudo make install and that'll put it in your path so that the next time you start your window manager, it will uh, execute your new um, window manager install your, with your configurations. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Maybe you'll learn a few things about uh, window managers in general, and uh, maybe you'll want to try out DWM. A lot of people do a whole lot more customization and configuration uh, than I've done here, uh, and there's actually patches available on the DWM site that you can apply to your uh, uh, config.h file. Uh, and so you can try those out and try building and just experiment and have fun with it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd encourage you to do so if uh, you like watching this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.